In this video, I will build a wood and aluminum case to put my O2 headphone amp in. If you want to see how the amp was built, check out the first video here. The first thing to do was to cut up some wood to make the box out of. I found this old 2x6 lying around and figured it would work fine. So I cut off the rounded quarters and sliced it into thinner slabs. My goal with this enclosure was to create something with a vintage 70s look with prominent wood grain and brushed aluminum panels. And more importantly, I wanted to create something out of the material I had laying around so it wouldn't cost anything. I had already spent over $300 on the amp and the headphones I planned to use with it, so I didn't really feel like shelling out more money on the case. I then marked out and cut out the four pieces I needed to make the box out of, out of one of the slabs, and then just trimmed down their edges to make sure they were square and the right size. What I was left with was this little box. I then just glued it all together. While the glue was drying, I marked out the front and back panels on a sheet of aluminum and come out with the Dremel. Once the glue was done drying, I took the box to the belt sander to add some retroactive precision and ran over the corners. I then used some super glue to affix the front and back plates to the box and then sanded them down to match up as closely as possible. Then I just quickly glued on some blocks to the bottom of the box to raise the PCB up a bit. And after the glue was done drying, I stained the outside of the box. I ended up doing about four coats, and although it didn't turn out as dark as I wanted, I still think it looks pretty nice. I then applied a few layers of spray on clear coat to protect it. While the clear coat was drying, I went back to the front and back plates. I printed out this front panel template off of Northwest AV Guy's website and glued it to the center of the plate and then drilled out the holes I needed. I then marked out where the hole for the quarter inch jack goes and drilled that out. I then drilled out the two holes in the back plate. I put them on the far right side so I have space to upgrade the amp with the ODAC in the future. Next I just did a bit of clamp work with some needle files and drilled the mounting holes in the sides of the plates. These holes were pretty close to the edge, and in hindsight, I probably should have used thicker walls on the box. I then went over the plates with some scotch Brite to give it that brushed aluminum look and to hide any scratches I may have put on them. The last thing to do was just drill some mounting holes in the box and assemble everything. If you want to see the assembly, check out the first part here. 